Good morning, vloggers! This morning it is freezing cold in my house. It's just under 10 degrees. I'm quite all rugged up in my uh, my hoodie. Um, I wasn't able to get the thermostat, uh, the uh, sorry, the ducted heating kicked in because the power for it's in the ceiling. Um, so I'm still without a little bit of the of the heatiness. So I might be doing a little bit of baking again today um, to keep the house warm. Uh, today, I need to go and take Patrick for a walk because as soon as I woke up this morning, he sort of got his lead and wanted to go for walkies. He's actually sitting at the front door right now with his lead waiting for me. <laughs> so I'm going to finish my coffee, finish my Vegemite on toast and uh, head out for a walk. Now, I don't know where I'm going to take him for a walk today because I like to change it up a little bit so that uh, one... You guys get to see a different park around the area. Two, he doesn't get used to going to one separate area. Um, and uh, three, it's always good to go to a different park because you get to see different things. Like yesterday, we got to see the ducks and chase them all into the water. Um, and stuff like that. Um, so, stay tuned. I'm going to uh, enjoy my toast. And my coffee. All right, so we're about to take Patrick for a walk. Um, and uh, yesterday when I was really sad, the mailman actually had delivered my cable for the Commodore 64. But it wasn't in my letterbox yesterday. And I know on you know, weekends they don't deliver post. So I must have got put in next door, but who cares? I got my post. <laughs> so maybe later on today we'll uh, play with the Commodore 64 with the video uh, cable that I've got now. So first we need to go take Patrick for a walk. So, Patty, we got walkies? Walkies? Yeah, walkies. Alright, let's go for a ride. Let's all day that. Let's go for a drive. So, Patty and I have come down to uh, Western Port, down to uh, Cannanook Creek Reserve. Um, we're about to go out and have a little bit of a walk. Uh, different park, different area. Oh, old little parrots making lots of noises. It's very peaceful out here. Alright, check back with you guys soon. Patty and I have just been for a walk uh, down the uh, Kenanore Creek foreshore and uh, took a couple of photos so have a look at those. Um, we're going to head home and uh, enjoy the rest of our Saturday. It's a beautiful day, the air quality is crap but it is actually a beautiful day outside so let's go for a drive. And we're back home now after our walkies on the park and now I can open up uh, my Commodore 64 AV cable. And there she is. So this cable is designed for a Commodore 16 64, 128, VIC-20, uh, composite video, AV RCA cable. So, it runs from the back of uh, the Commodore 64 to RCA. So, um, now I can see if my Commodore 64 actually is working or not, because uh, it was missing its uh, AV cable that, um, that it originally came with. So, I'm going to go and plug this in and uh, see what happens. I'm a little bit excited. I might actually be having a uh, good old fashioned, um, you know, vintage video game weekend. So, stay tuned for that one. Alrighty, so 
here goes for the first test of the new video cable. Power on. Yay! Commodore 64 Basic Version 2 64K of System RAM. <sighs> okay, next step. L O A D. Load. I don't even know how to use this thing. Um, <laughs> let's see what I can do. I've got to pull out the um the disk drive and see if I can get that working too. So I know it's comma eight comma one, but load something or other. All right, I'm gonna have a quick uh, revision of how to use the Commodore Basic system, um, <laughs> and uh, stay tuned. <laughs> We've got a games day. So I think I've got a dud uh, disk drive. So what I'm gonna have to do is uh, do a search on uh, eBay and see if I can find a replacement um, Commodore 64 1541 Series 2 uh, disk drive um, because it's just not doing any searching. As you can see, it's just sitting there and sitting there. But at least I got the Commodore 64 to boot, which is more than I've had at uh, do in the past. But it's going to be fun. Uh, we're going to uh, work through this together and see if we can get it to run. So, stay tuned. Maybe I'll see if I can try and fix this thing myself too. Because, you know, what hard could it have? It's from 1987. It's not like it's still in warranty. <laughs> Although, it's still got its genuine sticker. Hmm. Alright. Let's see if uh, I can get this thing working or not. Okay, so it knows it's there, because I just turned it off, and it gone device not present error ready. Okay, so it recognises that the disk drive's there, but the disk drive doesn't recognise that it's got a disk in there and it's ready to go. So, I'm going to see what I can do with this, and uh, come back, alright? So, at the moment, I've uh, just opened up the disk drive. Um, I've done some research online. Uh, sometimes the ROM chip inside the disk drive fails. Uh, what I did is I just removed the ROM chip, which was underneath the uh, the disk seat, which is right here. I'm now putting it back together and I'm going to give it a boot again. Um, if that isn't the case, I'm going to see if I can order the ROM chip off eBay. Um, I'm pretty sure it's possible still to order some of the chip parts for this model. If not, um, I'm going to order a second drive and uh, go from there. There we go. All in. Turn it on and see if she uh, boots. No. I think the ROM chip is still uh, fried. Alright, well, a little bit more work for me to do and then we'll get there. Stay tuned. Well, today's been a good day. Got the Commodore 64 at least loaded. Uh, Figured out that I needed a new uh, EEPROM chip for the uh, 1541 uh, Model 2 disk drive for the Commodore 64 uh, for it to work properly. So I've ordered that in. It was like a dollar ninety nine US plus some um, ten bucks postage or something. Uh, so that should be here in a couple of weeks. Um, it is coming out of one that's a working one. It's not a brand new one. It's just a refurbed one. So fingers crossed I can uh, get the. Um, Commodore 64 running because I've got a whole box of discs that I want to play games on. Um, the only other thing is uh, I could uh, look at getting is one of those um, uh, SD card readers that goes in the back, but I really don't want to get uh, one of those just yet. So um, I'm using a lamp. 
today to finish off my vlog because it's a bit late in the day. So, if you see anything you like in these videos, including playing games on the Commodore 64, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget, if you've got any comments, questions, or things I could be doing better, leave them in the comments field below on YouTube. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button and get notified when I do these, my daily vlogs, car maintenance, unboxings, cooking with Craig, you name it, I film it, it ends up on YouTube. Including pulling apart Commodore 64 disk drives. So, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, see you in the next video.